Okay, Lorraine and Kurt, here I am again, back at the house. And here's the outside. Just gonna walk up to the front. Look at all these pretty lantana. Very, very lush, pretty plants here. And look at this cactus. Isn't that cool? I love these guys. They're called bearded cactuses. Anyway, going in the front door, this is the entry, and it comes into the living room area. And I'm going to show you, Lorraine. I mentioned that one spot. Now, obviously, you can see it isn't huge. But maybe you can't even see it with this. But right there is a spot that looks to me like it's dirty. I wish I could right there. So I don't know. That's very minor. Very, very minor. Otherwise, the carpet is in really nice shape. It's got a nice arch doorway to the kitchen area. Ceiling fan in this room. Vaulted ceiling. Big windows, as I mentioned. There's one big one and another big window there. And then there's the front door that has that security door on it with a little quail and cactus and mountain design on it. Okay, then we go into the kitchen. There's those new appliances. Stainless fridge, stainless microwave and oven, black tops, it's electric. There might be gas back there, but I can't remember. I just don't know for sure. I don't, not that I don't remember, I just never knew. Nice cabinets. They didn't replace the cabinets, I don't think. But they're in really good shape. But they did put granite or silestone, I'm not sure which it is, down, but let's see if you can see that a little bit. It's got a nice little texture to it. Very smooth, but it's got a design that wouldn't show any dirt. The undermount sink with new fixtures. And this is an open pass-through to that dining room. So I'll back up a little bit. You can see they opened that up, framed it out, and put more of the stone countertop in between. There's a newer dishwasher. Then this is the rest of that room. It's quite large. It's got the pergo flooring, laminate flooring that looks like wood. It's very pretty. Did a nice job with it. Across the way is just another work area and cabinet space. So instead of a pantry, you have that. And then I'll just look back at the kitchen for you to get kind of a better feel, perhaps, how it plays out. It's got those lights up there that are really bright over in that corner. Okay, then there's the dining room. Big windows again with vertical blinds, sliding glass door, and then it goes down to this room here, which is kind of a large living room, family room, I guess I would call it area. So you can have your TV there. A couple more cabinets right there. I don't know where they put their TV. It could be there, and then they stored their videotapes or something up there. It's got two fans in here. One there, and then one right above me. And out over there, that's the air conditioner for this part of the room, because this was in a, where they enclosed the screen porch, I think. Then I'll step outside, but I forgot there's a stick in here. So this is the patio. That's, it's out of, made out of pavers. It's got some curvature to it, which looks nice. Then the yard. It's a nice large yard. It's got a couple fruit trees. Big oak teo standing back up there. Wall in the back. And it goes across. Their neighbors are over there. And then you can see the mountain view. I'll try and do a little more close up for you. Nice mountain view. There's a big tree out there, but you can see on that side, you've got mountains. On that side, you've got mountains. So nice view. Now this is where I say keep in mind, in the shadow, I don't know if you can see it, but there's no wall on the sides here. So I don't know how much wall you'd need for your little dog, but maybe just a short wall there, or even something closer in to the patio would be fine too. I, I don't know what you need. Okay, I'll go back in. In the garage, goes out this way. See if um, get the lights on. This garage has the garage has built-in cabinetry all along that wall over there. So a nice amount of storage, 
And then it, this is your laundry area. So the laundry's in the garage, but it's a nice, I'll see if I can back up a little more. It's a nice area, good sized area. Kurt, I don't know if you're a golfer, but this, I don't know if you can see where those red stripes are. That's um, kind of a sloped little up rising there to that section. That's where people park their golf carts. And it's built for that with that little slope in there. Okay, I'll walk down to the bedrooms and then I'll be out of here. Okay, so going down the hallway, there's one bathroom here. It's got the cultured marble countertop with single sink, shower, and stool. Large mirror, all in very good condition. And then this is a bedroom, which again, bedrooms, they're just square rooms, hard to see. But all in good condition. You see the carpet looks almost brand new. Double closet there. And then on the other side is the master. And it's a little dark in here. Um, but hopefully you can see it. Again, it's got a bay window, so it's got three windows there. And then nice carpet and a pretty good size. That's a little bit extra large double closet there. And then here's the bathroom. Single sink in the master. A little linen closet there. And then the walk-in shower, which is a little bit difficult to see because it's all the same color. And then this is the tile. Wherever there's tile in the house, this is the tile. It's quite pretty. So I think it's a 14-inch. Nice um, neutral color, but it's, it's this is newer. You can tell it's newer. It's, it's very nice. So there you have it. House is in excellent condition. Let me know if you want to do anything, and I hope this time it takes. <laughs>